Welcome to the Progeny Rx Medication Administration video series. My name is Hannah. I'm a nurse at VFP Pharmacy, a Progeny Rx Pharmacy partner. This video will discuss the administration of Luprolide Acetate 14-day kit. This is a room temperature medication. It may be shipped on ice in warmer temperatures. Luprolide Acetate can be used in a couple of different ways. One is a daily dose, two as a full strength trigger dose, and three as a dilution of the full strength medication. They're all injected the same way, subcutaneously. Opening the box, you'll have a vial of medication. They supply alcohol wipes and orange capped insulin syringes for administration. Remove the vial from the box. When you receive the full strength 14 day kit vial, it's only filled about halfway. This is normal. Flip off the cap. Alcohol wipe the rubber stopper. Remove the insulin syringe from the packet. You'll notice that it's marked either 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way up to 0.5, or 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 50. Pull back the plunger to your prescribed dose. Remove the cover, place the needle through the rubber stopper, inject the air in, and then pull back the plunger to your prescribed dose. You're now ready for your subcutaneous injection of luprolide acetate. For subcutaneous injections, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. The most common site is the abdomen, using the left, right, or below the belly button staying approximately one to two inches away from the belly button. You can also use the back part of the upper arm or the outer aspect of the upper thigh. Alcohol wipe the skin and the abdomen where you're gonna receive the injection. Let the alcohol dry. Hold the syringe like a dart. Squeeze the skin. Needle goes straight in in a 45 to 90 degree angle. Depress the plunger. Count to a quick five, one, two, three, four, five. Remove the needle from the skin. Use a gauze or a tissue if there's any bleeding. The Sharps container comes with a permanently sealable top. Open the lid. Do not recap the needle. Just drop the syringe into a Sharps container. You can close the lid, but do not seal it until it's full. If you have any further questions regarding your medications or protocols, please call your doctor's office or the pharmacy where you received your medications.